One of my great pleasures in life is that once every couple of weeks I get to talk to this person. This is Ronnie Bennett. She's my ex-wife. Good morning. Uh, yes, and we're better friends and uh, 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 as exes than we were as being married, I would think. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, but a lot of times that's the case, isn't it? I don't know. Oh, I know a lot of couples who were better friends after they got divorced than, I don't than before. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah. Just that. I only know about you and me. Only about you and me. So how how you every card anyway? <laughs> yeah. So uh, here we are in the midst of a uh, coronavirus, yes. uh, and I was saying to Marjorie today that I I feel very lucky that I live in New York, and people say with the coronavirus that's the hot spot. Why do you feel lucky? And I said because I've got a governor who knows how to handle it, you know, and and is not bowing to pressure to open everything up because he knows the results of that will be more deaths. And I, I really feel much safer with him as governor than with Trump as president. I'll tell you that right now, you know. There's a headline. I thought I had it written down here somewhere uh, in The Guardian this morning mm -hmm. that what happens if I click off of our screen here for a minute? Do you still see me? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Sure. Sure. We'll still okay, see you. Because I know I've got it over here. Let me go check it. Here it is. It says that. Trump gives up on virus fight to focus on economic recovery and re-election. I'm back. Yeah. Um, well, I didn't know he'd ever started taking care of the virus, but uh, I was thinking really hard this morning about how I'm confused, and I'm a big, big news consumer. I read lots of news mm -hmm. from many, many different sources. And I'm confused about the virus. I just looked at a good part of um, your governor this morning in his update. Mm -hmm. And um, and he, you're right, you know, we've discussed this. He's doing a really good job and he would be a better, better at running the whole country than the president we have. Right. Um, what's that old line? You don't, you can't go to war with the pre, whatever that yeah, line is. Right. right. Um, but uh, but even he is not really clear. I mean, he he was carrying on about his daughter making some advertisements and her boyfriend, but the boyfriend wouldn't win the con. I don't know. What, I, again, I he, was that's that's an ongoing uh, uh, soap opera that he's been okay, he's well, been I doing on his. Yeah, you know, yeah. It's, there's too much other that I don't yeah, understand yeah. in the world. And, you know, I don't know if I need to wipe down all of the groceries I bring home from the grocery store. Nobody has a definitive answer. Um, nobody knows anything about the virus. That part I can accept is that they're learning very slowly and it's hard mm -hmm. because it's nothing that was ever here before and scientists don't know anything. Mm -hmm. um, but then they're... I mean, Trump, I also heard, said something yesterday or today that he was going to allow the governments to take charge of something. Uh, the governors. Mm -hmm. What? He doesn't have any say over that. Well, here's the, re here's the reason he's doing that. He can't. Wait, let me finish yeah. that thought. I mean, he can't do that. Governors have their assigned um, things they can do in every state. Right. It has nothing to do with the federal government. Right. They're, they're sovereign entities in, yeah. you know, in most well, of what they have to do. It, um, and so what does Trump do? And he's done nothing. So that headline in the um, in the Guardian was uh, disingenuous, I guess, because he hasn't done anything anyway. Well, so, I here here here's here's the point. One of the reasons why he is saying that, well, it's up to the governors now. Is he, he he wants to divert the blame if anything yeah. goes wrong from him and say, oh, right. well, it was the, the governor's obvious, fault. But, uh, but, the fact but, is but that, that he... But I'm talking about confusion out here, is that no two people say the same things. I gave up on Dr. Burks a month or six weeks ago when yeah. she, the first time she talked about how Trump understood all the science of this. <laughs> you know, from then on, I don't understand a word she says. I don't care. It doesn't matter what she ever says to me. Um, Dr. Fauci is 
fast slipping into that area. Although he turned around uh, in the last 24 hours by coming out with a thing saying, no, it was not created in a lab in China. He said that he there's no evidence. Topic. There's no evidence to prove. He he tends to go up. Uh, Trump would say something at, a, at one of these conferences, and then he would give, him, give his speech and completely refute everything the president had said. I think that's why we don't not see lately. him that much. Not lately. Yeah. He's been going along with some of it lately. So I I have a very standoffish attitude toward him now. I'm waiting to see him do what scientists are supposed to do, which is not coddle a stupid president. I mean, and I mean stupid in the, you know, he's not very bright. But no, he's not bright. Um, and, uh, and so there's nobody out there that you can wholly trust. And they, I was thinking, I don't know that this is true, it's just one of the thoughts I had this morning, <clears throat> that if Fauci defied Trump Mm-hmm. And testified at the House yeah. hearing. Yeah, he would redeem himself for me, mm-hmm. as long as he wasn't out there telling me how smart Trump is. <laughs> uh, but I, I don't think he has that in him. Um, so I don't know. The confusion is, <clears throat> is that of all the so-called leaders out there. Mm-hmm. Uh, the Democrats, of course, have done nothing. I have no idea what they've been up to for two or three weeks. But um, I th- there, there's no one we can listen to and completely trust at all with the words that they say. Well, you, when, you, when you talked about I'd like to get some answers to certain questions and things like that, all I could think of is there are tons of questions that I have. Like, for instance, uh, you know, if I go out, and I maintain a six-foot difference, and I'm wearing a mask because, as as uh, uh, Cuomo put it so well, that you wear a mask not for yourself but out of respect for others. Yes, but that's, you know? that's and, still... And, and I wear a mask. Uh, w- will that protect me then? Do I have protection? Or is it... Is it Nobody it, it, has complete... You know, I wear, I wear the rubber gloves when I'm out. Wait, wait, wait. You don't understand that nobody has complete protection no matter what? Yeah, well, but I'm you saying, don't understand that. That's what well, I'm asking. No, what I don't understand is how much danger I say am I putting myself in if I maintain a social distance, have my mask on, have my gloves on, and I go out for a walk. About as much as I do. You no, know, but what my question is how how subjected to the you, virus am I? Are you looking for a number? I'm looking for a. Is this a best practice so that you won't come in contact with it, or does it fly through the air oh, for I long distances? Say that you won't ever come in contact with the virus. That is not possible. Okay. That is not well, physically possible. It is physically possible. I haven't left the house in four, six weeks, something like well, that. Well, you know, I mean, that's, by the way, that's another bit of confusion no one has ever addressed that I have. Yeah. If I, it's been lovely weather here the past couple of days. Oh, yeah. I open all my windows. Does the virus float? That, in that's what. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, though. That's what I was trying to say to you. I, you know, we don't get these definitive answers of well, if you do this practice and you do this practice, then you'll be okay here. Uh, it, it, it's like I don't think they really know. Okay, I think this is such an ever-evolving virus to begin with. I mean, the virus that's in um, uh, in New York. It's not the same virus that's in California, Oregon, and Washington. So they say. I don't know. Well, for no, sure. they've tested both. You don't know for sure either. No, no, they've tested both, and they're different strains of the same virus. This. I one, don't know what that means. Do you? Yeah, I think I do, from a scientific point of view. They're they're just differences. They can tell where it came from. I mean, here. Does here, that mean we need two different vaccines? Uh, no, it probably just. How do you know that? It, no, because this is the same. This is the same flu. This is the same, but it's a different strain of that same so flu. Do, so does one I don't strain... know. I'm not a scientist. That's my point. <laughs> you don't know. You're just flapping your lips, saying you know something well, that I'm, you don't I'm, know. I'm, I'm trying my best. Okay. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> what you do or don't know is what's important. And what we don't know is pretty much everything. Yeah. Well, I, I think this it came on so fast and so strong that they're stumped. They're really stumped. 
and I understand that um, to a certain extent. Uh, it, it is it's 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 a ever evolving virus. Uh, it we found that for instance we said little kids probably can't get it, but now we find little kids can get something else as a result of it okay i mean there are just things that are ever evolving that we're we're finding in in uh, young adults uh, 20s and 30s uh that they can get it but they may not get that but they may get a stroke as a result of this so it's a it, to begin with it's a very evil virus but it it has components to it that are even more evil and more vexing you know, because the, what we thought before that, oh, hey, if you're 30, you're going to just have a bad, a little bad flu and you'll be fine is not necessarily true. That There may be other factors that come into play and you may get a stroke. You know, so, so we, what we know about this is only what we know on a day-to-day -day basis when something comes up. I don't agree. I don't think we know that. <laughs> okay. What do you think we, we do know? We know that people get really sick. Yeah. We know that if you cover yourself in plastic, maybe you won't get sick. More of you won't get sick. Yeah. We don't know how to make you well. Um, if you happen to get well because we took good care of you, kept you warm, gave you some, you know, intravenous whatever that you need and all of that, um, you know, and some of you get well from that treatment. Others right. don't. Right. We, so we have no idea. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, I, I, I uh, but the, we don't, you know, some people get well, some people don't. Uh, we do know that there's an age factor, that over over 80 years of age, uh, it, it's much more dangerous, just simply because your body just is not as resistant as it was when you were younger. Although the, that, that, and that's not, that's not news. That's true of almost anything. When you're really old and you get it for the reasons you just said. You're saying like any flu, maybe. People die, you yeah. know, because our bodies, our immune systems don't work so well. And we've got, most of us have some other couple of things wrong with us that weaken us. So, yeah. you know, we get sicker. Yeah. But, um, but we always knew that. Mm -hmm. And it applies to this new one, too. Um, but but it's it's two things for me. It's the so-called experts, and I say that of people that have a string of letters behind their names and all kinds of, of history in their work that makes them experts, say things that contradict each other. Mm -hmm. And then the president, of course, keeps saying that by June 1, it's all going to be gone away. Or was it was at Pence who said that. One of them said that. Um, I mean, they should just keep their mouths shut, for God's sake. Um, and we're opening up even some of the states that I thought were doing a really good job are starting to open up, uh, things, yeah, retail yeah, stores yeah, and yeah, stuff. Yeah. And, um, and the numbers are still increasing. Well, they're, they're, they're it, 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 Cuomo said, and he's quite right. He said, if tomorrow I opened everything up, I could tell you in two days what the, what the, uh, what the rate would be. That, you I don't know, agree it, with it that was, either because it you don't you know you don't get it today and turn up dead tomorrow. No, but he just said that you know or even know you're sick yet in the, a day or two. You, you, it, it's a really it's a big tap dance you've got about public safety versus the economy, and we live in a capitalistic society that will kill us. Okay, I mean the the uh, everything is uh, are we going to have enough money? Is everything going to be okay? Well, you know, I'm sorry, folks, it isn't. But this is the only way to solve the problem, right? You know, and it it it, it is going to affect the economy of the country, and it's not affecting just our economy. You don't think it's affecting the economy of almost every other uh, country on Earth that has this? Here's a little little nugget for you. Mm -hmm. A whole bunch of, mostly European, but a whole mm. bunch of other countries have gotten together and they raised a bunch of money to, to, to pay for work to create a vaccine. And they're doing it as a group. And Trump refused to join it. Oh, God. So let's say they come up with a workable vaccine. Is Trump going to steal it in the way that the federal government steals PPE that governors order? Uh, listen, 
to begin with, I don't, I'm not surprised by anything this president does, okay? Uh, he has been, I'll tell you what this is. What's going on right now is his audition for being reelected. You know, is he the kind of president who can bring this whole thing together and get the country on a path towards wellness, okay? And he's not. He's done a terrible job of this. By the way, I didn't turn my light on. There we go. <laughs> he, he's done a terrible job. And uh, it, 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 it's, it's amazing how bad it, he has done and, and how uncaring. I mean, for all that you gripe about maybe Cuomo and his kid, the fact is I wish we had a president like that right now. Somebody who takes charge, tries to under... I'm sure Cuomo didn't understand all the science when he started, but he's smart enough to learn it, you know? And uh, I wish we had a, a president leading us that way who at least every day, if he did a press conference, we'd come away from it not necessarily feeling that things are better, but that we have somebody at the helm. And there's nobody at the helm of this country during this crisis now. And that's the sad part of it. And today Cuomo made a big deal about the fact that, you know, I'm sick and tired of, uh, of politics being played in Washington. The biggest political thing he said was that uh, they made a big deal about the blue states had the worst cases. And why mm -hmm. should we bail out the, the, the blue states? Well, those same blue states put in the most money to the federal government every year in taxes and get nothing back. Yeah. And at places like Florida get exponentially more. New York pay, gives $29 billion a year to the federal government in taxes. Uh, and Florida doesn't send them any taxes, but takes $30 billion. Mm -hmm. Okay? So, I mean, where is the disproportion? Where, where is the helping the states? Where is making sure that the police have uh, uh, work and that the firemen can get paid and the health workers can get paid and the teachers can get paid? They need that money, you know, and that's money they're not getting now. They're putting out all this money to solve the problem, but there's nothing coming in because the stores aren't open and they're not collecting taxes, you know. So it, it's really just a terrible thing this government has done to the states in trying to take care of this situation. Uh, and they have yet to send them a penny, you know. Uh, and I don't know how... How New York State is even paying for it? I guess they're putting it on a credit card, you know? I think so. Yeah. And the federal government is, too. Oh, oh It's not yeah. like they have a few trillion lying around. Yeah, but the federal government can do something the states can't. They can print money. Yeah. You know, they can print the money up. You know, eventually it's not going to be worth the paper it's written on, but they can, you know. And, and how much has our president put us into debt now? What's the national debt up to? Some amazing amount of uh, something like $26, 27000000000000 trillion. I yeah. guess it doesn't matter. Well, he, 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 yeah, it's the biggest bank he's ever played with, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, but, I mean, I just, I just think that it's sad that we don't have somebody leading this country right now who can give us a sense that our government is on the job. You know, when he, he stopped holding those press conferences because they got increasingly more embarrassing, you know. I mean, the day he, finally his bleach and, you know, uh, disinfectant uh, day. And I UV read an light. opinion piece somewhere yesterday or this morning uh, that the, the bleach and disinfectant, you know, injection speech mm -hmm. um, was the thing that really sunk him with the world, that he's just... He's he and now the United States are such laughing stocks from that was kind of the final thing that the leaders of other countries could handle without just falling out of their chairs laughing and yeah. just ignore him now and go on with their own business that America has uh, buried itself as a leading country in the world. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, there's no question about it. Uh, and, and, but, but I, I just, you know, I mean, I want to, I'm, I'm 80 years old. I could get this thing and I could die and I want somebody at the helm who's gonna, you know, try and at least save my life. Come to your funeral? <laughs> no, save my life. Save my life. 
you know, <laughs> and I feel this this president is endangering my welfare, my well being. And and um, I, I as I said again, I'm glad I live in a state where Cuomo is the governor. He makes me feel a bit safer. That because I feel that he's doing his job. Well, he comes closer to answering a few of the confusions I face every yeah, day. Yeah, I don't know. He yeah. doesn't do a terrific job of it, but he does better than almost anybody else. Um, here's a question, a related question, mm -hmm. but uh, but also not. Just I'm just curious for input. Mm -hmm. If the um, accusations from Tara Reid about uh, about Biden. Yeah. Um, if they seem to have substance enough that makes his run for president seem iffy, mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't know if I could go farther than that yet. And I'm not taking a side on that on either side. I have no idea. Yeah. Right. Um. It, uh, what happens? Uh, I guess they go, they, well, to begin with, are, is there going to be a convention? Or is it going to no. be a virtual convention? Yes. Yeah. Uh, that's for starters. Uh, and if that so. That doesn't have anything it, to do with the question. If so, in conventions, if you feel there's somebody who is a, or has almost a lock on it, but he isn't, uh, he he is he's got too many problems going for him. You can you can try and draft somebody else. Who's you? The the people the com, the people going to the convention and the people in in the body politic there. They can somehow. I didn't want to go that far. Forget that. No, we but no. Wait, 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 wait a minute. I'm well, just saying you do. asked me, and I'm trying to answer yeah, you. But but that doesn't. That's not the question I'm asking. Yeah. I'm not asking about process. I'm asking about what happens. In terms of, does he remain the the candidate, and and we and 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 the people behind him kind of try to just bury that, or do we have to go find a whole new person? Well, that's what and I'm saying. Whatever that, the process. That's what I'm saying is, is yes, that but whatever uh, the process. That that, that that the thing that goes used to go on at conventions, at least, which was wheeling and de wheeling and <laughs> well wheeling and dealing and things like that. Uh, yeah, you could go. You could could kind of go back to that. I could see a a large. But I, but I'm, again, I'm not asking process. I'm asking what the zeitgeist would insist on. Well, if you want to know the answer to that about what will we do if it turns out that Biden maybe is compromised by this whole situation, we're up shit's creek because he'll get nominated because he's got the votes to get nominated. And then uh, he'll go uh, against Trump, who's another guy who's got questionable m moral values, uh, and they'll fight it out for who's the worst. <laughs> you well, know? But, but if you go that way, that what that makes me think is that apparently the country doesn't mind Trump's dallying of various kinds. So why does it any more matter in any presidential candidate? Uh, well, it 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 shouldn't. Um, I, in this case, you know, this thing is so. I don't know how where I stand on it. It's just that the story is so old and has had no legs in all those years that to have it be an issue now kind of seems. Uh, it, sh it should be a statute of limitations. Okay, I mean, there's a there's a point at which you go, hey, you know, why is it you waited till now? To, to, she always ups the accusation, you know. So I don't know. I'm I'm mixed on the. Well, it's sort of like the virus, isn't it? We don't have the facts. We don't have the facts exactly. <laughs> you know, and I wish we did, and I wish we had more time too, because we're running out now. But uh, you're looking, you're looking in good shape. You know, and, you're a little hesitant there. <laughs> well, no, I'm trying to. I'm trying to. Uh, you look great, okay? You know. Uh, well, I just combed my hair this morning. Most yeah, mornings these well, days, I don't. <laughs> you want to see this? Look, this is. I I haven't been able to get a to a barber, right? And this is just getting hey, ridiculous. Can't you help out? Well, what I'm doing is I ordered it, and it's coming on Saturday. I'm getting a, a real barber clippers, and she's just going to do a, 
really close cut on me. I half considered just shaving my head again. <laughs> really? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> yeah. you know, I mean, it all fell out, and I was well, bald. You know, you, why you, not you just look, go with you it? You look great bald. You had a, you know, you really have a nice, perfectly shaped head. I don't know how I would look bald. Maybe I'd look you okay. Look okay, yeah, you look fine. I, I mean, I'm I bald can't here. Of your hair, so I guess you look good. Yeah, yeah. But anyway, hey, listen. Uh, they can get you at uh, if they want to catch you at timegoesby.net. And yes. that is called time goes uh, time goes by, and it's it's all about the, it's all about how it is to get old. And um, uh, next time we talk, I want to ask you about some of your readers and how they're handling this whole thing because they're in that age group that's in danger. They're mostly, you know, old people. Yeah. Well, uh, well, somebody has to talk to old people, and it's uh, time for you and I to do it because guess what? We're old. We're old. <laughs> <laughs> you never thought this, did you? Never expected this to happen. Thank you so much, darling. See you in a okay, couple of weeks, sure. okay? Ladies and gentlemen, her name is Ronnie Bennett. Thank you, Ronnie. Bye. Bye.